Hey guys, so today I have my 26 to 29 week pregnancy vlog. I really can't believe how fast March went by in these last four weeks. Um, yeah, so I'll be 30 weeks tomorrow. A um, few things have happened since my last video. I did do my glucose test um, since my last video and I did pass that. Um, I was a little nervous right in the middle of it. Uh, I started to get really dizzy and I was like sort of feel like I start to feel when I'm gonna black out. Um, but apparently that's a good thing because then your sugar is like going back down and my numbers came back fine, when I, which I found out at my next appointment. Um, yeah, and the drink wasn't so bad at all. Like I chose the fruit punch one and it just tasted like really sweet fruit punch. <laughs> so it, I mean, it was a pretty big size drink, but, um, and you have like five minutes to drink it, but for me it wasn't a problem. Um, but yeah, like I said, I did get really nervous in the middle of it cause I wasn't sure what that dizziness meant. Like if I was going to fail or what, I really didn't want to do the three hours. So I'm so glad I passed. Um, and then the other results from my blood tests that they also do after when they draw blood after the glucose test, those came back fine too. Um, so I don't have to take any extra like supplements or anything like for iron. Uh, let's see. Definitely growing. I've been feeling more achy these last few days. Um, I feel like she's getting up more in my ribs. Like it makes it a little bit harder to breathe sometimes. And like I felt some kicks. I feel like she's getting like feet almost up under my ribs. Um... Yeah, and she's gotten very active, like right at 28 weeks, it got crazy and then started feeling like body parts <laughs> moving around and it's really cool though, cause I'll feel like her head moving around over here and then like a foot over here. <laughs> so it's really cool. Um, like I'm feeling really big and like ready for her to be here already, but I mean, I think I will miss that, you know, it's just, it's a really cool feeling. If you, ever, if you ever felt that before, then you know what I mean. But yeah, it's pretty cool. So I'll go ahead and show you the bump. Um, I've just been living in these maxi skirts. Um, I have a few from Walmart that I'll show you in a second. But yeah, this is just a size large maxi skirt from Walmart. Then my Target tank tops and a maternity shirt from Zulily. Um, and then my mom just sent me this sweater for my birthday. This is my first time wearing it. And I really like it. It's nice and lightweight for spring. And I like the floral because I don't have anything floral. So yeah. Um, there is the bump. Ooh, she was like kicked something. But yeah, feeling pretty big. Um, yeah, but I know I've got a little ways to go. Still another 10 weeks to grow. Um, so at my appointments on the, what was that? The 24th I had an appointment. Everything was fine. Um, and then the next day, I had a little bit of a stomach ache, but you know, and a tiny bit of nausea, but like I felt okay. But then at work, I started having, you know, Braxton Hicks, but they were pretty consistent, like it kept happening over and over again. And then I had started to have a few that were really painful and like took my breath away. And then I left work like a little bit early. I got home, tried to call the doctor, but couldn't get through. So then I waited a little longer, and then it was after five, and I called the after hours number, and I was able to get through a lot faster. Um, and then, so they got me through to the doctor, and he said, go ahead and go in. And so I waited just a little bit for um, my husband's mom to get here, and she drove me to the hospital. Um, I went, that was last Wednesday. And by that time, I was kind of looking at the clock on the car and I noticed that it was like every few minutes 
um, I'd get like a pretty painful contraction and um, so we got to the hospital they hooked me up to the monitors and everything in the labor and delivery and it was picking up the contractions every three minutes um, but I mean they did their tests and everything and Everything looked fine, no signs of actual preterm labor, wasn't dilated or anything, uh, so that was good. So there really wasn't a real reason for my contractions, so I don't know. But, um, I mean, at least for now, you know, she's doing good and I don't have to worry about bed rest or anything to stop that from happening, but and it hasn't happened since then. Uh, but they did, they put an IV in my hand, which would hurt so bad. <laughs> and, um, and then it messed up. And then they had to restart one on this arm, which again, hurt so bad. And then after that was going for a little while, later, a doctor told me, he's like, um, well, you're definitely not dehydrated because you had the most lube pee I've seen in 14 years. So he said that I drink too much water so um it wasn't definitely wasn't dehydration or anything and um he's like drink more milk or something <laughs> so um yeah wasn't dehydrated so after all that painful needles and everything and while they were messing with my needles um i don't know if it was a combination of that making me lightheaded and also probably low blood sugar too because I hadn't eaten a whole lot since I wasn't feeling that great earlier but I like totally blacked out and um threw up everywhere like everywhere it was bad like I couldn't control it, it just I didn't even feel it coming or anything really I just like blacked out and then before I knew it it would puke all over the bed and then I <laughs> put the bags in front of me and I filled like at least two of those little bags and my poor mother-in-law but she's so sweet she was right there holding the bags for me and wiping my face and holding my hair back oh my goodness so I really hope that doesn't happen like during delivery or something from the needles and stuff I'll have to make sure I eat something good like on the way to the hospital so I don't have a little blood sugar or anything <laughs> but yeah pretty much sorry if you get grossed out by that but pretty much threw up the most I ever have in my whole life so um yeah that was not fun so we finally got to go home about 10 30 after I've been there a little over four hours um contractions pretty much went away and again there wasn't really a real reason for them uh yeah so it was okay to go back to work the next day and uh yeah, and that week, the day of my, my appointments, I had like three appointments that day. I had to see like the, the head lady and then like do my Rogam shot, which I forgot to mention too, which wasn't too bad after all. They just did like a shot in my arm and the lady was like an older lady. <laughs> she was so sweet and she was trying to be like really careful and do it slowly and not cause too much extra pain. Um, so that really wasn't too bad. My arm was just like a little, little bit sore after, but that went away. It was those IVs that made my arm sore for like days, but not looking forward to have one of those during delivery. So, um, but I think I have to. Um, so yeah, that's why I didn't get to film at all. Like last week, I'm, I worked pretty much every day because it was an event at work. And so... Yeah, my only day off was when I had appointments and then ended up in the hospital and all that crazy stuff. So, here we are. Um, yeah, I'll be 30 weeks tomorrow. Um, at, I had a follow-up appointment today because, because I was in the hospital, they wanted me to do a follow-up and so I just did that today. Um, you know, I just like measure my belly again and check blood pressure and the normal stuff. Um, I did tip the scales at 150 pounds today, which is a first for me. <laughs> um, but, you know, 
it's all for this little one. <laughs> uh, so that is, I mean, that's a healthy, yeah, that's a healthy 20 pounds. I mean, and I'm 30 weeks, so I mean, I'm guessing that I'll end up around 160, which would be a healthy 30 pounds. I mean, you know, that's like a healthy amount, I think. Uh, yeah, so they said weight looks good and everything. So as far as other baby stuff, I haven't gotten a whole lot since my last video. Um, but I did just get this adorable little onesie on Zulily. Um, I had already ordered something else and so it was free shipping anyway. But it says J is for Jocelyn. So I can't wait for her to wear that. It's just so cute. I got the smallest size they had, which was 0 to 3, but it looks a little big. So, I'm not sure when she'll actually be able to wear it. It looks more like 6 to 9 or something. But, yeah, I know I wanted something personalized. It's just so cute. So, yeah, so I got that. Okay, so I got up to go to the bathroom and realized that I didn't focus the camera before I started the first time. So, hopefully... The beginning of this is okay so anyway but i just wanted to show you a few um kind of maternity essentials um maternity clothes are really expensive so i've just been kind of making do with other things that are a little bit cheaper so um like these at least for me these tank tops from target work fantastic i just went up a size um, these are the Morona favorite tanks. I have these in a couple different colors. Um, this is just the gray one I have. So this is a size large. And they are just, they hold up well, wash after wash. Um, I loved these even before I was pregnant. Um, and they're really soft and stretchy. So they stretch well over the bump. And yeah, like I'm wearing one under this. And yeah, I love these. Uh, they're about $10 regularly. I always wait for some kind of sale. Like, they're at least seven. Um, so yeah, love those. And that's, again, the Morona favorite tanks at Target. And then um, from Gaudy Springs on eBay, I also have these in several colors. And I've been living in these all through fall, winter. And even now I'm wearing some just for a little extra warmth because it's not like super warm yet. Um, but yeah, there are these like one size fits all fleece lined leggings and they are so comfy. And even now they're still comfortable on the bump. They're getting like lower and lower, but they still fit. Um, yeah, like this is a pair, navy pair I have. But yeah, they're just like really stretchy. Um, so comfortable super soft on the inside and yeah so I've been living in these I wear a pair like every day under my skirts and everything um so yeah and then um as far as skirts Walmart has a bunch of really good maxi skirts right now and they're only like $12.94 um, you can also find maxi skirts like Target or anywhere else right now. I have two also that I love from Rue 21, which theirs do run a little bit smaller. Um, like theirs, I have extra large. So and I'm not that big. So, but I mean, it depends how you want to fit. Like I just don't want them hugging my rear at all. So, and then I like kind of pull them up like halfway over my belly to wherever I need to to have them at the right length um like this one from Walmart is like right under my belly button um the ones from Rue 21 I have to pull like a little bit over my belly button but they're really comfortable that way anyway and you don't have to worry about them like sliding down and showing skin or whatever so these are two I got recently uh, at Walmart um so just a black and white and then a navy and white so and i have those in size large so yeah um but they're super comfy wash well don't get too wrinkly um yeah and they're less than 13 bucks each so i mean we just can't beat it um 
if you're pregnant this kind of season, I would definitely recommend maxi skirts because they're just so comfortable, they're cute, and you can wear them even after when you're not pregnant. Um, yeah, so uh, those are really awesome. And then for sleep, um, these Ambriel, Ambriel from JCPenney, um, like little, what, what should I call it, a camise nightgown, um, but yeah, JCPenney, they're pretty expensive originally, like $38, but usually, like, I just have two, and you can get them on sale, then use a coupon, so, like, I paid, like, around 12 bucks, and they're really stretchy as well, so they work well with the growing belly, and they're super comfortable, um, for extra warmth while it's still cold, I just wear, like, like some bottoms and um, a robe over it. So yeah, those are super comfy. Um, as far as like nursing bras and stuff, I definitely need more. I have one coming from Target, uh, so hopefully that works out. Um, yeah, I don't want to spend a lot, but I don't know. I've heard the Bravado bravado is that it i've heard those are good um but yeah i really don't want to spend like almost 40 dollars if i don't have to um so yeah um i trying to think i think that's it so yeah as far as cravings it's still the same i'm basically obsessed with iced tea um i like snacking on pretzel thins and hummus so somewhat healthy um yeah so and then like strawberries and stuff absolutely love top of whipped cream and it's like dessert um yeah so i'm not sure when my next vlog will be we'll see um i do have another appointment in two weeks um, and I'm meeting with a midwife that we met at Olive Garden, actually. No, I mean, <laughs> what am I saying? We, the waitress we had when we went to Olive Garden for my birthday, we got to talk about the baby because she asked about it, you know, because everybody can tell I'm pregnant now. <laughs> um, and she actually had three babies through the same office I go to, and she used that midwife, um, and she highly recommend her, wrote down her name and everything for me, and so I'm meeting with her at my next appointment, which I'm excited about, because I just really, from the beginning, I had really wanted to have someone like that there, like either a doula or a midwife there with me that could kind of stay throughout pretty much the whole thing, the whole labor and delivery, and just a little bit more of that personal tension, I guess, and I kind of want and to help avoid like any other necess unnecessary um, interventions and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm really excited to meet her and um, that's it. So the video is long enough, so I will let you go. Um, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one very soon. Bye guys.